Stingray, exactly what I thought it was. Oh, is it? You saw, what do you see? Get it down the shock. The knot is probably where all that seaweed is right there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. No, just keep going, keep going, come on. Real, 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 real. I think you got it on. No, you got not yet. Okay, y'all, welcome to another episode of Let's Roll Outdoors. We just landed this stingray. It looks like about five, ten pounds, maybe. And we're gonna do a catch, clean, and cook episode of Let's Roll Outdoors. We just caught this sucker. Now we're gonna clean it, and we're gonna cook it, and we're gonna tell you what stingray tastes like. Let's roll. Hey, y'all, here we are. We're back at the house. I got the stingray landed on our uh, picnic table here, and we're about to clean it. And uh, so I have to admit, I've never cleaned or cooked a stingray before. I've done what you're doing right now. I've gone on YouTube, searched up the videos, how to clean these suckers, and I've heard they taste good. I've heard plenty of people tell me, hey, just keep that thing. Fillet the wings, and this is what you hear. Fillet the wings, skin them, and just cook the meat, right? You can fry it up. It's kind of like shark meat, you know, just that meaty texture. So this is what we're gonna try to do. We got the stingray, I got the knife, it's sharp, and we're gonna try to fillet it here. Okay, so here we go. So you can feel this thing, it's got meat. These wings are just full of meat right here, okay? And what we're gonna do is try to fillet around this rough part right here, okay? So I'm gonna get this cut started. Right in here like this, like so. And I'm just gonna follow the tail down like this, okay? And that gets into the guts. So I don't wanna get too far in there. So the meat's more up here. Turn, the, turn it so you can see it in the light, okay? And again, this is my first time ever doing this. Okay, so there we go. You can see I'm getting down into the gut area. I don't want to get into there too far. Stay up here where the meat is. And I'm just kind of filleting it like you would any other fish. Now the difference is though, with like stingrays and sharks, they don't have bones, right? So there's not like a, a hard rib cage to follow right there. But you kind of just kind of feel where the meat is and there's not going to be any meat out here on the fringe right on these frilly parts of the wing so I'm not going to mess with that I'm going to go about to right here to where all the meat is okay so I'm just going to kind of keep following it along all right and there we go there is a stingray fillet I guess okay now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find a little pinch here at the end of it or I can get my knife down in it so I could skin that top part of the skin. And probably what I could have done is left it and just flapped it over so it stayed connected there so I have something to hold on to. All right, so I'm just gonna fillet it kind of like you would be skinning a catfish or some kind of other fish. And that's actually kind of what it looks like, slimy. If you got, those of you that go uh, catfishing, all right, you've got that slimy catfish skin. That's kind of what it looks like right here. The meat and the skin kind of looks like that. All right. All right. And I don't know, it's not the prettiest fillet. <laughs> My first uh, stingray fillet here. I think I left a little too much meat on the skin there, but. All right, there's one fillet. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other wing. I'm just gonna make the cut down there, fillet it down to the fringe, cut it down, flap it over, skin it. All right, let's take this sucker inside cook them up see what he tastes like okay y'all we're back here in the kitchen I got the stingray cut up into little chunks all right uh, I don't know there was no rhyme or reason to how I cut them I just I just chopped them up okay and we're gonna keep it pure all right we're going with some butter salt pepper so we can just taste how the meat tastes all right no nothing hiding the flavors all right no weird seasonings none of that kind of stuff yeah. so we got a hot pan butter and stingray here we go.
All right, so we've cooked it about three or four minutes on one side. We flip it over to the other side. Okay, y'all, we've got it fried up here. Four or five minutes on each side. I just wanted to make sure it was cooked really well. And uh, this is what it looks like. All right, kind of a weird meaty texture here. All right. No smell. All right, there's no fishy smell going throughout the house. Okay. It just tastes like meat. You know, it has that buttery flavor that I put on, that we fried it in. Kind of like a scallop. I don't know if you heard people say, uh, <laughs> it's flying out of my mouth, stingray's still alive. <laughs> You've heard some people probably say, hey, it tastes like scallops or poor man scallops or something like that. Sure, I'll give it a scallopy texture. Uh, I don't know really what else to say. It tastes like meat. But overall, I'd say it's worth keeping, worth trying again. If you want to keep a big stingray, fillet the wings, get the skin off the wings, throw that sucker in a frying pan and fry it up. It should be all right, okay? I think this could be a fun thing to do with people that they don't know what they're eating, right? So you have like a fish fry over your house or some kind of barbecue or something. Fry up a bunch of stingray meat, make some fish tacos or something like that, have people eat it. Tell you how good it is. Like, man, that was some good fish. Or that was some good meat. What was that? And then you hit it with a stingray. All right? So that's what we did today. Catch, clean, cook stingray. I think it's a thumbs up. I'd recommend it. Maybe a little more seasoning or something different I got to do with it. But I bet if you just deep fried that sucker, it wouldn't taste any different than any other fish. All right? So that's what we did today on Let's Roll Outdoors. Catch, clean, and cook a stingray. Thanks for watching. We're going to keep making videos and keep posting them. And uh, good luck in tight lines out there. Thank you.